what's up guys welcome to today's video tutorial guide so i was scrolling to facebook today and i saw this design this design over here and i was captured by what was done by the designer so this is a graphic design class by somebody i saw online i don't know but what grabbed my attention was this smartphone stuff how they were able to use the smartphone stuff or uh, to create this design so i was inspired to create a video on how you can insert pictures how you can insert images background into phone frames like this with your smartphone so if today's video is something you want and how you can create this kind of way to the end of today's video to our guide and don't forget to like the video subscribe to the channel and at the end of this video make sure you share this video to your creative friends and let them also benefit from this so without wasting your time let's get right into how to create this so now go over to your uh, smartphone design your smart your pixel lab so this pixel lab over here and i'll be showing you the first way there are three ways i know there are three ways i know you can use in achieving that so the, num the number one way is downloading a flow frame so just go over to your browser uh go over to your browser and um search for or uh, uh, cw dot um png wing png wing dot com sorry png png wing dot com and um i just go over there and search for uh smartphone frames search for smartphone frame like this let me type it smartphone frame you can just use it like just a smartphone frame or anything like this so any ideas it bring to you that's what you are using so yeah i already have mine with my smartphone so i'll be doing and downloading that i'll just bring in one that i know from my uh, from my phone so let me just bring in one from my phone a smartphone frame that uh i already downloaded so i may keep i may give these resources in the description but if i don't give it i will already show you where you can get yours on uh on the site so that's the front smartphone frame i have right on my phone so okay this is it over here this is it over here so this is what you'll be getting also if you go if you use the exact keyword so this is what you'll be getting also so i have this for the sake of today's video guys let me change the background to something uh to something like this so this is what we'll be working with this is what we'll be working with and if you can't access the smartphone frame let me show you another app you can also use where say for example you have gotten uh what you want to put in the frame so when you do a screenshot like this let me do a screenshot on my phone so i can show you uh what i want to talk about so when you do a screenshot like this it's going to appear at this down part so just click on that image and when you click on it go to this frame screenshots go to this frame screenshots and you have something like this you can also use this and just save it and you can also use that but i would prefer you use this because of the color of the color frame so let me just bring in the one we just did now let me bring in the one we just did so i will show you for emphasis sake uh, i think it should be a screenshot right here and this is it or this is it right here so we have this like this but because of this stroke uh, uh, we will not be working with this because of this class so if you have time we will be showing the letter part of this video okay so let's put it over here now so go back to this and let's for example what you want to put at the background of this thing is this screenshot so just do let's say you have the screenshot like this let's say you have the screenshot like this all you have to do now is to go to bring from gallery bring it from gallery like this and then um, you have this over here so you can just crop a little bit you can crop a little bit uh maybe if your phone is going to have so you can crop a little bit and place it like this at the back side of this phone back side behind the frame of this behind the frame of what you've downloaded like this as you can see like this now so let's centralize everything so we'll be able to work with it so let's centralize let me go over here also centralize so we have something like this now you know because of the because of these sharp edges you need to do something to it so to remove all the sharp edges go over to the screenshot go over to your eraser tool and um, try to just be careful and be calm with it try to re remove the edges edges of this stuff of your what you imported so i'll just do it over here also so but if you have the time just wait around and can you see that the edges are gone so this is the number one way you can do this this is the number one way you can do this and the number two way let me unlock this number two way you can also do that is to bring in a shape like this bring in a shape like this and um take make sure you make sure it aligns it goes along with whatever you want to work with and when you have something like this go to this radius go to this radius at the first screen and make sure you read you give it something like this you make sure your radius you reduce it and to a rounded version like this when you have something like this click on ok and take that rounded shape to the back of that frame to the back of that frame and you will have done something like this so you can just write whatever you want to write for example let me just write some text like this let me just write subscribe you know just to write subscribe share and um like so we have something like this so go over change the text and um 
so i just want to show you this for the sake of this video so let's use this font over here so let me change the color and um you can walk ahead walk around with this and um and um you are good to go so just do your thing do your thing do your thing like this do your thing like this and when you have something like this you are good to go but let me show you another the third way you can also do that so when you click on that image and go over to texture go over to texture whatever you want to put so i'll go use that screenshot with you so i'll use the screenshot remember this is the third way so you can just uh just crop out the parts you may don't want it to appear click on ok and when because of i have used that image because of that and we have something like this so these are the three ways you can achieve this right on pixel app and go ahead save to your mobile phone you can remove this background for example take my room to background save to your image and now um, you can use this for your next project so the first one i showed you is how you can use how you can crop as part of other part of the design i can cut out the edges and the second one is how you can use shape so you can use shapes like this and make sure you go over to texture and add over it but also another third one if you don't want to use the eraser tool which is more simpler let me show you an example of this let me show you okay let me copy this let me show you another. if you have something like this that the edges are not kind of let me go over like this if the edges are kind of not sharp not sharp okay they are sharp and so let me undo and you have something like this let me uh cover this so take this to the back now just take you to the back of this phone frame so if you have something like this like the um like these edges are showing at the back of this uh, so you can go over to your max tool over here where is this max tool go over to my school you can use it in cropping now so just make sure you uh you do this like this just make sure all these parts are kind of showing and not showing you just crop out the on un unimportant parts of this stuff like this so go over to here so, so you can just you can just make just make sure all those parts i've been cropped out make sure all those parts i've been cropped out so like this so we have this so just enable enable it and uh, you can use the hard fashion you can see that the edges to what are gone the edges to are gone so this is the three ways i which i have shown you how you can insert frames like this on your smartphone go over to png3 download the phone frame and um, insert this with this video so if you find this video helpful which i'm very sure please like this video share this video and subscribe to the channel to go more helpful views thank you for watching Thank you.